Dear this essay, this is High Priestess Ashodara Singh. Welcome number six. For those of you born on the 6th, the 24th, the 15th, please add your birth dates. If it adds to a number six, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of March 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. We have the Akashic Oracle, the Chakra Oracle, and we are using the Angel deck this time for the central theme. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Golden Wheel, the Wicca deck, the uh, Gilded Tarot, and the Dragon deck. All right, let's see what we have for you, number six, as a central theme. You've pulled out the card of Instinct, the Master Artisan, Eight of Keys, and Archangel Camerals, Life Experience. Let's do it one by one. I'm gonna keep these guys on the side. All right, so uh, when we speak about instinct, you have to make your sixth sense your first sense, which means you listen to your gut this entire month. You will be put in a situation or uh, situations, number six, where this commitment of yours to your own self will be uh, tested. Are you listening to your gut? What is your gut telling you? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Is it a maybe? Should you be going left? Should you be going right? Should you be walking straight? Should you wait, right? Listen to your gut. And as, it, as crazy as it might sound or as, it cra or as crazy as it might feel, you need to understand that your gut is actually very, very important and needs to be heard. Otherwise, you might regret it. And if this is your central theme, then this is what's going to happen. The Master Artisan. It's a beautiful card um, which speaks about your commitment to your work, your skill set, your profession. What do you do? Um, so if there is something that requires you to enhance your skill set, say you have a particular qualification and in order for you to do better in your professional life, you need to uh, gain some more expertise. So you need to add on to that qualification, do a diploma, do a degree, research and find out which is the best, what are the best options and uh, then go for it right but that's also what's going to happen in march you might think about upping your professional game and there will be a significant life event which is going to happen there will be something that will be revealed to you that will lead to change and it will be time for you to grow that's and that's going to be something that we call as a life experience because this will be an important event that will determine the rest of your journey okay could be your professional life could be your personal life could be both all right the first week of uh, march 2024 okay first of all let me tell you number six when i was pulling your cards out i saw a lot of major kana cards so this entire month you will receive the blessings of the angels okay now that we have that out of the way first week number four uh, number six sorry you've pulled out the king of swords the four of swords the moon card and the sun card wow okay so don't go by the gender you could be a female also the king of swords tells me that you could be a gemini or you could be dealing with one this card also means that uh, well it's a card of widowhood and divorce this card also means that you're being very stern in uh, getting the job done you're being very focused and very stern and that's not like your normal self you may be focused but you're you're easy going relatively easy going you're not very stern and you're being strict now because apparently the result depends on um, you and it is your responsibility to see the job through. Don't sweat it. Don't worry that people will think that I'm like this, but I'm not. Nobody's going to judge you, but this is required at this point of time. Okay. Four of swords. So it looks like uh, you are thinking what to do next. Um, so this is the time when you should be acting but then you're thinking uh, it could be that you have some kind of lack of information or it could also be that uh, you are apprehensive because you're unsure whatever it is find out what the reason is but if this card has come it means you need to act now you're wasting time the moon card of course it had to come this means you could be a Piscean or dealing with one this card also means that there is some information that's been kept from you and because of that you're not being able to come to a uh, a concrete decision and this lack of information is what is your job to find out it should be revealed to you the sun card tells me that uh, 
when you are in a situation where the outcome is going to be positive that's the good news we use this a lot in spell casting this card means that if you're trying for a child and this is the right time and if you're wondering is it a yes or a no this is a yes card okay so it's a very good card all right so okay um this very rarely happens but when the sun and the moon both these cards come we are talking about two aspects okay the duality of things so and there are two extremes you have the moon you have the sun so uh i if i were you if there was a situation although the sun card has come but don't forget the moon card also came before that i'm gonna say that in this situation there's still a maybe so maybe you need to still wait for about a week or so and gain some information so that you have some um positive yes or no answer all right second week of uh, march 2024 number six you've pulled out the universe card one of my favorite cards ace of coins or ace of pentacles ten of cups and the four of swords again so four of swords we've just done which means that uh, for the second week and the first week you have four of swords so again uh, don't procrastinate don't waste time this is not something that is going to be um, agreeable to you and uh, and that is why the universe card has come because universe is telling you here that listen uh, make a move take a call now because if you're not then i will take a decision for you and it may not be something that is palatable to you it is it may not be something that you will like so take a decision now which basically boils down to make a move now i understand you don't have all the information because the moon card has come but you don't sit down and wait for the in information to come and fall uh, in your lap maybe you need to go out there do a little bit of hunting and research and, and get it okay possible so the ace of coins ace of pentacles again this is a card that we use a lot in spell casting this card says that you will be receiving a money offer which is better than what you imagine which is awesome uh, whether you're in a uh, in a, a professional whether you're a business person whether you're in a job or you're you know a partnership your own business uh, a sole proprietor but this is definitely or maybe you're you know you're in buying and selling real estate investment but there is this offer is the best don't wait for it to get better this is as good as it gets right so don't be greedy um be grateful and accept this offer okay 10 of cups again a card that we use a lot in spell casting um and this card says that you have good things happening in your personal life this is something that you should be very very grateful for um uh, this is a card that that says that you have a happy family life now in case you say no that's all right but i wish i had children or you know i wish my wife would love me more or i wish my husband would uh care about me more than um he cares about his mom stuff like that okay now remember if you're not matching the vibe of this card 99% of the time it is your thoughts have no doubt that is the truth but if you don't match any of the cards that i'm showing you because this is the vibe that you have then you need to get in touch with us and we need to do a vibe switch dragon spell for you okay we do that on sundays all right third week of uh, march 2024 number 6 you've pulled out the justice card look at all the major cards you're pulling out the judgment card the hermit card and the three of swords okay so the justice card means you could be a libra or dealing with one this card also means which need to look at the law of the land maybe you have a if they if you are involved in court cases litigations then that's going to either begin or end now and that to in your favor this card also means that there are some taxes uh, legalities that you need to take care of in your life don't shirk it it has to be taken care of don't sweep it under the carpet because you may be paying fines otherwise judgment card this is a pure karmic uh, karmic card this is talking about your karma now i have mentioned this earlier and i'm going to say it again when it comes to karma people think that it is a normal person will think karma is what are you doing to others how are you treating others how are you behaving with them are you being good or bad but it doesn't restrict to that it's a blanket of other stuff and one of the important things that you need to tell yourself is how are you treating yourself if you're treating your family member very nicely but you have kept yourself in the back burner and you're not giving yourself enough time you're not taking care of yourself that is also bad karma so you give that some thought okay because these are important things so 
I know a lot of us say people around me are happy, so I'm happy. That's bad karma, FYI. So you need to think about it. And if you're doing good to others, thinking, oh, this will come back to me and I'll be grateful, that's also not considered to be karma. You're supposed to do good to people even when they cannot in any possible way return back the favor, right? Just do good and be good. The Hermit card tells me that you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also means that you are uh, in desperate need of self-introspection. Are you walking on the right path? Is it the right track for you? Do you need to uh, deviate? Do you need to stop? Do you need to change your strategy? What is it that you need to do? Um, and, you know, sometimes when we give too much of thought to one particular thing, we tend to bring, you know, become our own enemy because overthinking can be an overkill. But in this situation, it looks like you really need to think really hard. This change that you're making, this seems to be a very, very drastic change. Is this change something that you'll regret later or something that is unavoidable or something that you really need to do? Three of Swords, so it looks like you're in a situation where there are too many people because of which you're not being able to come to a decision. This could also be a third party situation, which means either you're having an affair, your partner is. Now, this is not a definite. Remember, before you start hopping up and down, this is a general reading. If you want to have a personalized reading, get in touch with us and we will patch you across to one of our panel tarot readers. All right, the last week of uh, March 2024, Number six, you've pulled out the Judgment card again, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So the Judgment card has come once before, so it looks like you need to have your karmic baggage released because it's come in the third and the fourth week, so it's definitely there. Number six, you need to do something about it because uh, if you have karmic baggage, then you will not be able to achieve anything, okay? And when I say anything, it could be from the smallest of things to the biggest of aims. So you need to do that um, and you need to watch your karmic move, right? And I've already given you an example of uh, how you can increase your karmic baggage. Wheel of Fortune, again, a lot uh, of these cards are used in spell casting. This card says that the planet Jupiter uh, favors you in the last week, which is the planet Rihaspati in Hindi, like we say. So luck and finance are yours for the taking. This is the time to buy, sell, apply for a job, ask for that promotion, get into that business, diversify if you have to, but money is definitely in the cards. This is your vibe. Match it or get in touch. Eight of Cups. So you are planning a trip by the water. This card also means that something that was of interest to you earlier does not interest you anymore. You're moving away from it. Um, and this happens because sometimes when we are growing, right, in life, you grow into things or you grow out of things so you grow towards something or you grow away from something so move away from something so that's this is all natural no need to beat yourself up on it if it doesn't if it's disinteresting now it just is it is what it is so take it like that okay and the last card two of swords uh says that uh, well you have to make a decision you know the pros and cons of both the choices uh and yet Thinking about it again and again is kind of paralyzing you, unable to make a decision. Be a little more sure, be a little more confident, trust in the universe, trust in your gut, trust in your instinct and go for it, okay? This was a very interesting spread indeed. Uh, number six, play the tape again, see it again and again and understand that March is going to be quite challenging, very interesting and you will definitely come into your own. Listen to your gut, number six. I will see you in the month of April. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you all. Beatus Essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.